on. Yo, what's going on, boys? Welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'm going to be giving you a guide on where to find certain resources on Genesis Part 2. If you do enjoy this video or it does help you out in any possible way, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on the road to 10k, and if we could hit that by the end of this year, that would be absolutely amazing. Just before we do get into it, this video is actually sponsored by Official Sucks. Official Sucks is a Windows 10 slash Xbox server. It's 10 times rates with a 6 man 1 alliance, which is wiping on the 4th of June, so the day this video goes live. It has one of every map, however, it also has two Genesis 2 maps. There's 30 30 times maturation, 10 times taming and harvest, 1.25 times loot drop quality with a 2.5 times experience gained. Wipes last about 2 months with multiple events each week. If you want to check them out, there is a link to their Discord in the description. Make sure you drop in, say hi, check out the server, and if you like it, that'd be sick if you could join. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get back to the video. Alright, boys, so in this video, I'm going to show you where we can find all of the resources that you need for starting out in early game as well as mid game. So if you come to this mountain, which is at there on the map, 3491, you can find yourself obsidian. Obviously, you're going to need obsidian to make your cannonballs and everything. Um, you also can get a decent amount of flint and stone over here. There is also metal that spawns in this mountain not a lot but decent amount you know enough to get you started you know enough to get you your first indie forge etc etc there is also a terminal right here so if you want to come for missions or you know even upload any of your resources is a perfect little spot to come as you know maybe a solo with a mining drill farm up as much as you can and then you know put it into the mission so it is a decent spot also may wings do spawn here so you know if you're ever looking for a may wing all you've got to do is come to this mountain and you know so uh yeah if you need obsidian flint or metal then this is definitely one of the best spots in my opinion just simply for the fact that it does have a terminal next to it so you know it's easy for solo farming but uh yeah on to the next spot all right boys so the next resource on the list is obviously paste as you know, everybody needs paste so if you come to approximately these coordinates here, 5672, here it is on the map, you will find yourself some beaver dams. So there's actually two spawns. One spawns in this river here, so you have a beaver dam there. And if you take a little trip just over to this side here, there is more beaver dams that spawn here. Now there is actually active beavers over here, so you have more of a chance of beaver dams actually spawning in this area. But uh, as you can see, there's one there, and there is another one right here. Uh, it appears to have despawned maybe must have despawned but they do spawn up and down this river so make sure you check it however there are beaver dams that do spawn along this river so you've got one there there's another spawn over there and you know just go up and down a couple trips and i'm sure you will be able to grab yourself you know four or five uh, beaver dams getting you enough pace you know get your first indie forge couple turrets etc but uh, yeah, with that being said, let's go on to the next resource. So boys, the next resource I'm going to be showing you is how to get oil. If you come to the Lunar Biome at around 58, 48, 51, you can farm loads of oil here. Now I say loads, but you know, this entire island here is covered in oil as well as this island here. All has oil on it, so should be more than enough oil here for you to get, you know, your Indie Forge, Fabricate or whatever, um, anything that you need. There is also metal that spawns on these, uh, on these, uh, like, island things, you could say. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, there is a lot of oil, so, yeah. I do want to add quickly before we do go on to the next resource, before a lot of you get confused. At certain times in the day, these islands do switch from oil to ambergris and magma gel, from magma gel and ambergris to uh, element dust. Certain times of the day, these do change. They also do change to sulfur as well. So this is another spot that you can get sulfur. So uh, yeah, if you do go here and there is no oil, make sure you check the time of the day. I don't remember what time of day it is that these little all spawn around. However, I believe it's a little bit random. So uh, yeah, if they don't show up, then you know why. The next resource on the list is actually Black Pearls. Now I have scouted this map left and right upside down until I'm blue in the face. And so far I haven't found a single Black Pearl. However, the one way that I have found to find Black Pearls is if you come to these coordinates here, 3230, here it is on the map. There is these elytra pids, I'm not actually sure how you say it, but if you uh, if you kill these, these will give you the Black Pearls that you need. Um, it's not an amazing way to kill, uh, 
to farm black pearls. However, at the moment, it is the only place I found that you can actually get them. So, uh, yeah, if you guys do find any black pearls, make sure you let me know down below in the comments as it would really help me out as well as others. The other thing you can get while down here is silk and pearls. It's not many pearls. However, if you farm these bushes here, you can get silk from them. And if you look, there is, well, shit ton of fucking silk. Like, I mean, every single one of these bushes gives you silk. These re this, uh, The rates on these servers is official. And, yeah, I'm getting silk guaranteed per plant. One thing you've got to be careful of is the fact that spinos do spawn as well as cat pros. However, I've noticed the cat pros sort of stick with the spinos and around the edges. There is one there in the middle. There is also shit tons of metal here, so you know, maybe you want to invest in a donkey. They might actually be useful this time. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get on to the next resource. Alright boys, so as a little add-on to the last clip, I did end up finding another spot where you can get yourself some more black pearls. It's just a little bit easier way of getting your black pearls instead of having to kill the elytrapids. Um, you can also get polywild down here as mantises do spawn down here as well, however not many. However, if you come to these coordinates on screen here, 4031, and you just go over to these little trees right here, I found that the chainsaw gives the best, um, that or the most amount. Um, this is on one times rates as well. Now, I've been here for maybe 10 seconds, 30 seconds, if that, and I've already farmed 109 uh, black poles. So it is a pretty decent way of getting yourself some black poles if you know your mining drill and stuff like that. Um, there is a lot of the plants around here as well. I mean this entire area is pretty much infested with them. So yeah, you can also get spoiled meat from this as well. So it is a good way to farm a lot of narcotics should you need you know, spoiled meat in that. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get on to the next resource. So boys, the next resource on the list is going to be poly. Now, unfortunately, this is another one that's a bit scarce on this map. The only way I've found to farm it right now is by killing mantises. And at the moment, only one of them have spawned. However, I have found maybe four or five that have appeared to spawn down here quite often. Um, and it appears to be one of the only spots. I believe there is another spot that you can go to to kill mantises. However, this one seems to be the most common one for spawns. There is also a four times note right here as well, so you know you can grab yourself a bit of XP before coming to kill the mantises, so that's always nice. But uh yeah, unfortunately maybe wildcard will up the spawns of either the mantises or maybe there will be more of a legitimate spot for poly. However, I don't think anything will be able to beat the uh the bee cave as well as aberration poly zone. But uh for early game, this should be enough. But uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get on to the next resource. So boys, this is not the next resource, but just for another uh, little one for the last one, which was Polly. There is more mantises that do spawn here. Here are the coordinates, 4436. It is just, it's just another place that you can look. Once again, I don't think these are permanent locations for mantises. However, there are more here. So if you are in desperate need of Polly, then there is some more here at 4436. However, let's get on to the next resource, boys. Last, but definitely not least, is going to be crystal so if you come to these coordinates here 6909 here it is on the map there is a lot of crystal here actually it's just on this waterfall so we have a bit of crystal there and if you come off this ledge we've got loads more crystal here and if we go down again we've got load more crystal here there is also metal that spawns on this water so it is a perfect little spot for you know grabbing yourself a decent amount of crystal if you need it or you know even just to grab a little bit so you can make out no whatever there is also a mini rat hole which is just I, it. I believe it's this one here actually yes here it is there is also a little rat hole here so you know if you're building this rat hole then Crystal should be no issue with you as well as if you come out here and go to the right there is a little XP note. I believe this one here actually gives you 2x and 4x at the same time. At least it did for me. I don't know if it was just a bug. However, it does give you a 2x and 4x at the exact same time when you grab it. So it's definitely a note that's worth grabbing. Um, but yeah, with that being said boys, I hope this guy did help you. I know I did miss out a few resources. Had, that is just because, you know, with Gen 2 being so new, I'm still exploring it for myself. Um, but there will definitely probably, well, 
there will probably be a second part to this video with any more resources so if there's any resources i did miss out that you do want me to try and find please let me know down below in the comment and i'll try my best to find them once again i do think arc is going to add some more spawn points for certain resources example pearls because i think pearls are probably one of the most scarce resources on this map i have scouted almost every single pond and there is probably maybe one to maybe 10 pearls in each within a 50 foundation radius in my opinion so uh yeah it definitely needs to be up so if any wildcard devs are watching this which is almost a 0.0 percent chance however if there are then please up your spawn rates for pearls However, as soon as transfers open, that should not be an issue. But until then, boys, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.